In this topic, we will be discussing changing the background color of the workspace. You can change the background color of the workspace if you want to provide more contrast between the workspace background and the model. To change the background color of the workspace, select the background color palette located in the menu bar. A color palette will appear, make your selection, and hit OK. The background color is now changed. You can add a background image to the workspace if you want to provide a context for the model. Background image. Select your picture. Bitmap, JPEG, PNG. Hit open and there's your background. Please be aware the size of your background image will affect the size of your overall 3KO file. If you want to remove the background image, simply select the color palette and revert back to a color. In this topic, we will be discussing setting the startup snapshot. You can change the display elements that determine how the model appears when a configuration opens an Ngrain Producer Pro or Ngrain Viewer. In this example, first I'm going to hide the main body, rotate the object or model, select set startup snapshot, startup snapshot has been captured, and hit OK. What this means is every single time that this model opens in producer or the viewer, under the main configuration name, the starting position of the model will appear this way. If you ever need to change the startup snapshot, simply make your changes. In this example, I'll bring back the main body, hit show, rotate, line drawing view. All I have to do is re click set startup snapshot, and again, every single time this model opens up in viewer or producer under the main configuration, this will be the starting position. In this topic, we will be discussing snapshots. You can take a picture of the workspace. This snapshot includes parts, callouts, flows, lines, shapes, freehand drawings, and background color or background image that appears in the workspace. To capture a snapshot, position the model the way you want it to look in the snapshot. In my example, I'm going to put the model in context view. I'm then going to select the engine assembly. Next, I'm going to rotate the model. Once satisfied, I will then move down to the snapshot panel on the bottom right hand corner, capture snapshot, rename, and hit enter. Restoring a snapshot back to the workspace, simply go down to your snapshot panel, double click on the contact view engine snapshot I just created, and your new snapshot will appear in the workspace. If you want to update a snapshot, simply bring the new snapshot up on the workspace, make your adjustment or change, Go back into the snapshot panel, right click, recapture. If you ever want to rename a snapshot, simply right click, rename. If you ever want to organize your snapshots, you can organize your snapshots into folders in the snapshot, snapshot panel. Simply select create folder. In my example, I'll hit engine and then I can move all parts associated with the engine inside of this folder. In this topic, we will be discussing using the rotation tool. The rotation tool is located here. Brings up a little small little panel on the bottom. It gives you the ability to rotate and spin, zoom, in the center, it is defaulted to 5 degrees. 
If you'd like to change that, simply select the center and make the adjustment. To remove the rotation tool, simply deselect 